What up, y'all? <laughs> All right, so, uh, so I've been reading this book uh, by Jen Cicero, and um, it's called "You Are a Badass at Making Money." And so I've been like loving this book. It's fucking. It's a great book, right? Um, and so she has us do these assignments at the end of each chapter, so you can like write things down. Uh, you see it, you are thinking, really thinking about it and getting engaged um, and really getting it into your like conscious mind, subconscious mind, into your like daily mindset. Um, so she wanted us to write down what our perfect day would be. Um, absolutely perfect. Like, um, I mean, I'm having a pretty perfect day. I got this gangster ass hat right here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, just if money was no object, uh, time was no object, space was no object, you just, whatever it is, your perfect day. So, this is a day in the life of the richest, wealthiest, happiest me. I wake up feeling refreshed by an amazing night's rest in my luxurious bed. Perfect pillows, sheets, and comforter. I grab the remote lazily, turning on Thievery Corporation and feeling grateful for my whole life. Then I sit up straight and stretch on the edge of the bed, thinking about how I'm continuously making money. And that means my people are being supported financially through Young Living. I begin to imagine what my perfect breakfast is that morning. I'm grateful and shed tears of gratitude that I have all the food I could want and that the people I love, that the people I've brought with me on this journey also have more than enough food. And that all of us are making major contributions in the world through our personal philanthropy and the Young Living Foundation. Then I slip into my super comfy pants and slippers, make my way to the kitchen where my kids have surprisingly been preparing my favorite breakfast. Lots of thick sliced applewood smoked bacon, Scrambled eggs with salt and pepper, fresh tomatoes on top, local made bagel with tons of cream cheese, marionberry jam on it, tall glass of milk with ice in it, glass of orange juice and a glass of water. I pop a nitro into some ninja and lean against the marble countertop listening to the sweet sounds of my boys giggling in anticipation of making their papa so proud. I look out the window and I feel my heart expanding in my chest at the sight of Sarah completing her latest plein air in the garden area. I ask her if she would like her drink. She smiles and says, he loves me so much. I fire up La Marzocco for some yummy, yummy coffees. Then I cruise to my study to read my latest book, check for communication with my team. I check the account and I'm super elated at the increase of funds over the last week. Then look at my increased chart in my VO. And I'm sudden <sighs> And I'm suddenly overwhelmed with gratitude to Young Living. And I picture Gary's face so happy for our freedom and financial well-being. I brush my teeth and feel gratitude that our family dentist did such a great job on my front teeth. See young hood ass fired ass teeth I smile at my beauty and strength I notice my latest tattoo and appreciate the expert line work and detail Megan focused on always producing amazing art on my skin canvas I intuitively feel La Marzocco's ready for action as I stroll downstairs I appreciate the lovely art on the walls the spacious home we're blessed to enjoy as I enter the kitchen the boys are suddenly quiet Suspecting something amiss, I ask, what's up? They sheepishly point to the ground to reveal a broken mixing bowl. After a little chuckle, which soon turns us all into a full-on crew of laughers, <laughs> I ask the boys to scooch so I can clean it up. I make and bring Sarah her classic, extra bomb, caramel latte complete with perfect foam, caramel drizzle art on her whipped cream. Mmm. She kisses me on the lips with her perfectly beautiful self and holds me as we watch our beautiful children laugh and play while cooking breakfast. I walk away to the house. 
She lovingly watches me as she whistles and cat calls after me. I laugh as I silently pray she never stops doing that. I come inside to find my favorite hot breakfast sitting on the table waiting for me with a huge note saying, We love you, Dad! I can hear the boys excitedly clomping on motocross boots, helmets rolling around as the anticipation for their morning ride rises. Oh, I finish my breakfast enjoying every bite and feeling immense gratitude that I took the time and effort to discover my own worth and that I made the conscious decision to do whatever it takes to design and live out my dreams as my most authentic, generous, happy, peaceful self. I suddenly remember a roll of film I have been waiting to develop. So I half run down to my studio and feel the invigoration of slipping into our personal darkroom and photo studio. After some time in there, I decide to find the boys on our property with my quad. After some awesome riding, I track down my boys taking a break by the East Creek. After much debate about what we should do for lunch, we decide on an impromptu family barbecue which means inviting all our extended family and local friends. Damien volunteers to get meat and fixings from our former, from our uh, neighbor farmers and ranchers. Over a hundred people show up, making it the most successful family barbecue we've ever had. The faces full of love and peace and good food are well worth whatever price has been paid for the occasion. I enroll five friends of friends who are on the fence about the legitimacy of my business. But after witnessing and partaking in the excellent abundance afforded by YL, they decide that they too would like to begin the excited journey toward financial freedom, abundance, and peace. They all leave with a flip kit, because I have a stock of flip kits, especially for these times. After the barbecue, I call my buddy, who owns Party Cleanup, A company he started with some help and guidance from moi. After passing crisp $100 bills to his assistants for the great job I know they'll do, I make a short video about my amazing life and continue my encouragement to my million plus subscribers, reminding them that through integrity, gratitude, leaning on your intuition and self-control, that they too can live out their dreams to the fullest. I get a call from a member of my organization letting me know about a GoFundMe by a relative for a surgery needed immediately to save their life. My member asked me about organizing some other members to get the cost covered ASAP. After the phone call, I find the GoFundMe and I cover all the costs. Holy shit, that feels good. I revel in the generosity my wealth affords me. And I thank myself for being such a badass and am encouraged to give all I can that day. I jump in my hood car. <laughs> a 1999 Honda Accord specially designed with a crispy ass $100 bill dispenser in the Dell. I have a bill counter so I can keep track of it for tax purposes. But so I don't have to think about it at the time, I can simply give when I feel it. After I feel satisfied that my hood people got some sunshine, I check on our new nursery. Rolling in, I feel like a star. Everyone knows me on a first name basis, and the trees and plants look, feel, smell fantastic. I call all my employees in for a quick meeting. The nervousness is evident on some of the faces of my rescued folks. Little do they know, I have envelopes with each of their names on them. Inside, $500 $500 cash with a personal note from me thanking them for their service and continued commitment toward creating a better life for themselves and their communities. After many hugs and a few tears, I send them all back to work, jokingly exclaiming what slackers they are. Having my skateboard on hand, I decide to hit the local ghetto skate spot. And suddenly I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to fill my trunk with brand new complete decks for the little homies. The homeboy at the skate shop is blown away and infinitely encouraged by my generosity and ability to give freely and without reservation. 
he calls the shop owner and the shop owner donates a shoebox full of stickers and 50 shirts first little homie can't even believe I would even give a fuck about her with tears in my eyes I tell her a little my story and explain my lifelong dream to return to the hood take care of my tribe I roll with the kids for a bit sticking some tricks and eating some concrete after many laughs and smiles I hop in the accord before I take off I say a little prayer for their futures and I hope I see them again then I decide to step it up a notch (laughs) I bail to the local taco truck and order them like a hundred tacos they came so fast taco man blessed me with a traditional family blessing as he notices the $200 tip I dropped in his jar this is the good life I head home I open the door and I'm suddenly surrounded by my gorgeous loving family Sarah asked me how my day went I say, honey, it was just perfect. We all sleep peaceful, knowing tomorrow will be even better. Thanks for watching.